Hey AGF, Pastor Alex here. Welcome back to another daily video. Today we're talking about my experience with giving. Now this is going to be different and unique depending on who you ask, but one of our main focuses during this season is about giving. And giving can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. To someone it might mean finances, to others it could be time. Ultimately I believe giving stems from value. What we value, we determine as an act of giving, right? If I value money, then I would say that giving for me is giving financially. If I value my time the most, then giving for me might be giving of my time to somebody. But I wanna challenge you with a quick thought really fast here. Uh, how many of you guys have ever remembered when you were younger, when you would wake up Christmas morning and all you could think about was what you were gonna get that day and the great, exciting gift that would be under the Christmas tree for you? Now. That was the case for me when I was younger, but as I've gotten older, I can tell you I've gotten a lot of great gifts and I'm privileged and blessed to have been given a lot of gifts. But the things that stood out to me the most, and the things that I remember the greatest, and the things that brought me the most joy weren't just what I received. In fact, they were the things that I gave. And I've gotten a chance this last year to be a part of giving some really wonderful things and to be a part of giving more than just what was comfortable. And I'll tell you this, in all of that, when I, when I say it, I don't say it as an act of like, look at me, it's more of an encouragement to you. What I gave always, always, always was more joyful and more impactful and more memorable than anything I've ever gotten. And I wanna challenge you this year, whatever that looks like for you, uh, I want you to be generous with your time, with your finances, or whatever it is. I, I know this, I wrote this down, that God doesn't always call us to comfort, but he does always call us to care. And while care might all, not always be comfortable, it will always be impactful, right? And while I've forgotten a lot of those things, I have remembered a lot of the care that I've been able to show to others. And God, truly, I think he makes those things memorable because he wants us to remember the goodness of his joy that he pours out into us when we give to others. It's not comfortable to give of our finances. It's not easy to give of our time, but it is always good. And God blesses those who are generous. Um, Matthew 6, 19 through 21 says this, Don't don't store up treasures here on earth where moths and rust where moths eat them and rust destroys them and where thieves break in and steal store your treasures in heaven where moths can and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal wherever your treasure is there the desires of your heart will also be so where is your treasure today and what do you value most and I want to challenge you with this. I, I remember there was an Adventures in Odyssey movie that quoted this at the end of it as the young boy was fighting to, you know, try to see how much money he could get. And the father looked at him and he quoted this scripture and it stuck with me ever since. And I'm challenged by this because it tells me a lot about myself. What do I value? What do I treasure? And how can I, this season, I be intentional about giving that away? How in this season can I be fixed on not just holding it, but giving it away and watching what God does with a generous heart, with an open hand, more than he can ever do with a closed one. So I want to challenge you with that. And then one more verse here. Uh, Proverbs 11, 24 through 25 says this, one person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. This season, the best thing you can do, and it's hard because we're in unique times and we want to hold on when things are uncertain, when things are unsure. We we clasp tightly the things that are you know sacred to us maybe that's your time maybe that's your money whatever it is maybe it's that you buy someone something in a drive-thru maybe you just check on somebody even though it's not convenient because you know they've been hurting whatever it is be generous and watch how the god of the universe will refresh and fill you with joy this season be blessed church and we'll see you soon